Hello, this is my video about how I made my golfer's elbow medial epicondylitis pain inside my elbow a lot less painful. It's still there. I'm 38 now, like since I was 17 from doing weights badly, holding pads badly and hitting a bag. Rubbish technique. Um, but it is 10 times better than it used to be. It used to wake me up at night all the time. Doesn't do that anymore. It's a little bit now because yeah, it's because <laughs> I've just been training. Um, but yeah, this has made it lose better. Um, first thing I should say is I'm not a physio. I've trained with weights since I was 14 and MMA since I was 21. Yeah, 21. Um, did JKD before that, but um, look, done my grappling. I've kind of spent my time getting injured and working out what works and what doesn't for me. So, um, but I do have a degree in sports science, a first class degree and a master's degree in exercise and nutrition, plus a lot of years of experience. So. Take what I say with a pinch of salt though. Um, first thing is just stop whatever's hurting it. So for me, a uh, barbell bench press was giving me a pain there and a pain there. Um, stop doing that. Any heavy curls, I use bands now. Um, uh, rope climbing used to kill it as well. Um, it's like kind of an overuse, tends to be tendonitis obviously, and an overuse of wrist flexion exercises. Um, and not enough wrist extension sometimes, imbalance, as well as a bit of tendonitis, from what I understand. Um, so stop doing those, Do use bands instead. Um, a couple of things that seem to help is band doing wrist uh, reverse curls, so keeping them really strict, um, kind of cock your, cock your wrists up, hold for two at the top, down for four, hold for two, do quite high reps. Otherwise, if it goes, if you use too much resistance, you start using your bicep too much. Um, another thing is, just use shoulder press. Sometimes chest press on the Swiss ball, um, but like top, top to bottom, or upside down kettlebell exercises. Even just holding it up, and walking around with it. I believe that's a good shoulder stabilization exercise. But if you're kind of holding it like this as well, it's, it's using the your wrist in several ways but it does seem to take off the pain from my golfer's elbow issue um oh yeah straps as well people hate using straps especially people who do mma because it's not good for your um, grip strength but if you're gripping all the time when you're especially you're training with the gear a lot you know it's functional to grip more i suppose in the gym and develop your grip even more but you want to prehab that stuff as well and work it the opposite way and even rest your grip so I have to use straps when I do chin-ups and things now, which I get a stick for, but that's it really. Um, so inflammation, reduce that if you can. So obviously don't eat too much rubbish. Intermittent fasting, I'm into that now. So I found the keto diet a bit too hard to stick to and lost too much weight. Um, so eating between 12 and 8. Um, tart cherry juice is good. I have that once or twice a day. Um, let's see a bit of turmeric, of course. Turmeric's very good. You can buy Mariva curcumin now, which is all, seems to help quite a bit, but it's so expensive. So I'm just, at the moment, just having turmeric in my smoothies with some brown pe brown black pepper, because that supposedly increases the absorption as well. Uh, the other thing you can do is look to, sometimes it could be a muscle tension issue. So with that in mind, magnesium glycinate, this is my favourite brand. Um, I have that in the evening because it makes you tired. Um, it's good, pretty powerful muscle relaxant. Um, Calva Calva as well, that's good. Um, contrast showers seem to help as well. I'll do that Wim Hof method. Seems to help generally just with inflammation. Uh, and just ice you. If, after you train, just ice it. Or even if, when you go to bed. It's the most obvious thing to do for inflammation. And one more thing is um, taurine. It's got somewhere. Oh, yeah. That stuff. Um, it's really good for stuff playing like you forearms for pumping up when you are grappling so it seems to stop that pain as well during training so give that a, give that a go as well so like i said I'm not a physio but it seems to be too much wrist flexion too much gripping um so stop doing whatever's hurting especially the strength and condition that should be an afterthought not an afterthought but it should be secondary to your mma training and your grappling um so don't injure yourself and make injuries worse with your strength and conditioning um do more wrist extension stuff reverse curls, kettlebell top and bottom, reduce inflammation and try and increase muscle relaxation. You can do massage as well. 
I'm not really sure how to do that. I guess you do some trigger point stuff. That stick massage you can get as well. But I'm not sure. But that's what's worth for me anyway. So good luck. <laughs>